These are the apparatus that will be used along the experiment. Trolley Ticker timer Adjustable lab check Power supply for AC 12 volt Carbonized sticker tape Telephone tape and scissors and wooden track for 2 meter length. Now, let us start with the experiment assembling. First, set up the apparatus according to the diagram in the lab sheet. Adjust the lab check until it reaches to the maximum limit. Place a wooden track on the lab check and make sure that the experiment is conducted at a wide area. To gain a good result, track and the lab check must be in a stable position. Put a chair besides the wooden track. The chair is used to place the power supply near to the electrical socket. The function of the power supply is to supply power for the ticker timer. Make sure to not switch on the power supply until the apparatus are completely set up. Place the ticker timer on the wooden track at a suitable distance. Then, adjust the carbonized paper suitable to the ticker position. Insert the carbonized ticker tape to the ticker timer. Fix the ticker tape with cellophane tape to the end of the trolley and connect the other end of the ticker tape to the ticker timer. Place it on the top end of the track. To estimate the length of the ticker tape used in this experiment, conduct the experiment without switching on the power supply. To obtain a smooth movement of the trolley, Use extra ticker tape to avoid the trolley stuck during the movement. After getting the suitable length, set up the tape and conduct the experiment with the power supply on. Connect the power supply to the ticker timer by using crocodile clips. At this part, please ensure your connections as if your device has polarity. Now, you have to make sure that you adjust your voltage to 12 volt. Lastly, do the final checking before you start your experiment. And make sure all the apparatus are completely set up. Now, we can start the experiment. For a best result, at least 4 students are involved in this experiment. The first one is to control the switch of the power supply. Second is to hold the carbonized sticker tape. The third one is to hold the trolley before it release. And the last one is to hold the trolley after it reaches to the end of the track.
When everything is ready, switch on the power supply and release the trolley. As you can see, with a stable length of the ticker tape, the trolley release freely. Look at the slow motion replay. The result of the experiment can be seen from the ticker tape. From the ticker tape, you will see a continuous ticks along the tape. Now, we are going to do the calculation part for this experiment. From the experiment, we can see a continuous sticks along the ticker tape. The distance of the ticks may vary from time to time. For this part, we need scissors, cellophane tape, ruler, and pen. First, to make it easier, affix the beginning of the ticker tape with cellophane tape. Here, you have to make sure that you affix the right end of the ticker tape. What does a tick means? The interval between two successive dots on the ticker tape regardless the distance is considered as one tick. One tick or one unit represent 1 over 50 second or 0 0.02 second. Therefore, 10 ticks is equal to 0 0.2 second. We will start the calculation of the ticks with the clearest dot gain. Once we have recognized the clearest dot, we will start counting for 10 ticks. Starting from the first dot obtained on the ticker tape, indicate every 10 ticks of the ticker tape. You can count each of the interval for 10 and make a line as to differentiate the stripes of the 10 ticks. After that, check your stripes so that your ticks are correctly counted. Then, Start numbering your stripes so that you will not confuse which stripes come first. This part is very important as the placement of the stripes will indicate initial and final velocity. Done with that, cut your ticker tape accordingly to the 10 tick stripe. As you can see, the size of the stripes increasing with the labeling of the stripes.
The next step is to arrange the stripes according to the number. Arrange your stripes from right to left starting from the smallest number. You can use a graph paper as the background and stick your stripes accordingly. Your result should be basically look like this. You should gain a steps pattern as it increasing from time to time. From the results, now you can fill your calculation steps in your lab sheet.